right before he hit the presidential campaign trail. Okay. Governor Ron DeSantis quickly signed several controversial bills into law. Some targeted immigration. You can't build a strong economy based on illegality. Another targeted children and transgender therapy. We need to let our kids just be kids. And one took direct aim at Disney. No corporation is above the law and the people of this state. New Six has uncovered those new laws have now prompted at least 14 lawsuits challenging whether they're constitutional or not. Some of them were filed here at the federal courthouse in downtown Orlando. The topics range from voting rights to education, drag performances to pronouns. And now some state lawmakers are asking, how much are we paying to defend these lawsuits? How much money is in the budget for litigation defense on behalf of the state where we're dealing with constitutionality challenges to some of these laws that have passed? I think I've noticed a trend over the years where this budget is increasing. So could you tell me how much is in the budget for the 2023 session? Some of it's appropriated specifically for litigation support and outside counsel. Some of it's just contained within a contracted services category for an agency. That sounds a little confusing. So we decided to go through the governor's budget proposal. We uncovered he's asking for roughly $19 million to fight these lawsuits and possibly more in next year's budget. That is a 36% increase over last year. He's asking the State Department get a 285% increase, $5 million total, to fight those lawsuits over voting rights. And DeSantis is asking that his office get $4 million to fight lawsuits he's specifically named in. This is what brought him to public attention. The, the war with Disney, uh, the war on don't say gay as it's called. New Six political analyst and UCF history professor Jim Clark says no governor in Florida history has ever asked for so much money to defend new laws. Why pass them if they're gonna to have to spend so much money to fight them? Because it helps them politically. They can raise money on this. They can go to their constituents and say, look what I got passed. It's really all that political, you think? It's, it is, it is. And it, remember, it's not their money. It's state taxpayer money used to fight this.